Hello, welcome to another reaction review video with me, Nina Schofield, singer-songwriter, vocal coach and session musician. And I am very excited to be watching some more of the Philippine Madrigal singers. Now, my very first reaction to them was on Patreon, uh, one of my exclusive reactions over there. And this video is actually here on the main channel because this was requested via my Patreon. So thank you so much for that request. And if you want to help support this channel uh, and join that Patreon, on family then you can find all the details in the description box down below so the madrigal singers absolutely fantastic really emotive singers everything that they do really kind of draws you in now i'm excited about this because it's some kind of flash mob i believe so we're gonna watch and find out what is going on and just feel all the goosebumps hopefully within the arrangement so the title of this Izar, Izar, Idirak, the beautiful star. Is it Izar or Izar? Izar. I feel like it would be that. You let me know. Are you ready to watch with me? Here we go. <laughs> that bassiness and then the build up melodically on top. Ooh. The higher frequency tones on top of that bassiness. Chord changes from the heavens. A great example of just a little bit of a crescendo that push there oh i'm telling you this is the perfect setting for a song like this because it just carries it doesn't matter if you don't know the lyrics it doesn't matter if you don't understand a word that is being sung here you can feel the energy the literal vibrations of what they're singing resonates resonates with you <laughs> dissonant harmonies created. Okay, so there, I thought they'd do the resolution, they didn't, but we had this sort of, it's not in this key, we had the, and I thought we'd drop down like that, Amen. sequence, but we didn't. We stayed there and then the melodies reached up again. Uh, I'm going to take it back, but I love all these dissonant clashes where we have sort of, instead of just the basic chord, you end up with the, I should play it up here, the additions of the fourths and the sevenths and the sixths and just so many lovely additions within the chord and it's what makes this so beautiful there's nothing basic about this you know but at the same time it translates phenomenally to to anyone you know if you weren't musical you could stumble across this uh, and and just understand everything they're saying musically okay let me take it back <laughs> Of resolution. <laughs> Crossover melodies. Okay, 
okay so just as we're moving into this section with the kind of focus going back to this bassiness I just want to talk about how lovely it is also that they're in a circle that kind of thing makes a difference and and obviously we're getting the perspective of someone walking around with one particular camera but from any point within that room you could get a different kind of performance with regard to the natural reverb bouncing this in various places around the room but it would be so interesting to walk among them and just feel the whole performance. I know that everyone's respectfully standing still who stumbled across it, but it would be so interesting when people are singing in a circle to kind of stand in the centre, to stand on the outside edge, to go to the far corner of the room, just to hear how different it sounds in those various places. I love these razors. or if they just sort of also respectfully back away. <laughs> they deserved a round of applause. Really, really stunning. Just such a lovely way of listening to music that, you know, not all music needs instrumentation underneath. The vocal can be enough. If it's arranged in the right way, if the dynamics are there, if the emotional intent is there within the performance, within that delivery, you've got something special and that's what that was so yeah a flash mob of a different kind I really enjoyed listening to the different frequencies within that whole thing as well just so much range within it and I wish I could have been there let me know your thoughts in the comments box down below and tell me what I should be listening to and watching next and as I say if you would like to have your say uh, over what videos I do on my channel or if you would like to be part of the decision of my next exclusive reaction then please do head over to patreon.com forward slash Nina Schofield that link being in the description box down below and of course thank you for being part of my YouTube family I enjoy uh, reading all your comments and yeah I can't wait to see you on the next video have a fantastic rest of your day love you so much bye